Why do you need to play Sabir, you may ask? Because he's the hottest disgusting champ in the game. She's the most fun ADC of all time. Kim Che Wan's favorite disgusting champ. And she's a GOAT! <laughs> Let's be guided by kids. <laughs> For the disgusting runes, we have to go yellow. Because if you want to play like the Chinese, you have to look like them. And we're, the main one here is Conk. You need to always disgusting go Conk. Fleet foot drop does not do disgusting anything. You don't even auto attack with fleet. Like, you, you don't even auto attack on this champion for at least if it makes sense. And you can't even proc this one. I don't even know what this one does. And for the other ones, you go Triumph. Triumph is the best one. She doesn't have mana, so you're not taking presence on whatever this is. Overheal just doesn't even work in the game. It's bugged. You have to go Bloodline. Bloodline's good because her whole thing is uh, lifesteal. Like, that's a big thing. That's like one of the three components. So you have to. Last Stand is really good too because you're perma going in, which means you're lower HP. Which means you do more damage. You could go cut down if they have like 16 tanks, but they don't do that. They don't do that, bro. And then second, you have to go Red Tree almost always. Never forget. Red tree is goaded with this treasure hunter. You you get two kills, you're already full build. So like low key, this is like you have to tap into treasure hunter, bro. And also you only have two other options. Eyeball collection is goaded because you get disgusting AD. AD is insane. This is if you know you're getting kills, you go this. But if you need the extra damage, I swear to, I swear sudden impact the move because you disgusting get nine lethality off of rip is disgusting, no? So you need to tap into these two. This one's my favorite. This setup right here is my favorite. Oh, you go the health scale. You go this too. I don't know if these even count in the game, but like, yeah, you go those two. So it's pretty chill. So those are the runes. You rarely go any of these ever, I don't think. Maybe if you're in super cancer lane, you can go second win, but I wouldn't even. I swear you just chill. You just stay back. You just, the play style different, and then you'll be fine with something like this. Taste of blood doesn't work. These, all these don't work. So just, just keep it simple, you know? Okay, we're gonna go over the ability rundown. So we're gonna start from the passive. She gets disgusting. There's three parts of this jank. Kind of. One, she gets passive stacks that make her go faster. So like, look at this. Boom. One. And she gets up to six. See that? When she gets S, she gets angry. <laughs> like, this is when she disgusting goes uh, evil mode and she can run really fast. It stacks up to... I don't know, a lot of percent, you can read it. It's not really that fast, but low-key, it can give you the ability to chase people when you're disgusting, like, on the hunt for them. Like, in the clip here, we have the Zerath running, and even though I get stunned, I, I can still just keep up with them because I was disgusting max stack on his head. Okay, so as I was saying about stacking the passive, every instance of damage that comes out of her will give you a stack if it's other ore, so that's even, like... Even a disgusting pussy squirt, if she hits someone with it, it's gonna disgust and give you a stack. So, this is pretty cool. Also, at S, at S you could use your ult. I mean, everyone knows that. If you disgusting play the game for more than a disgusting half an hour, you probably know this, so it's not really that big a deal. If you have disgusting profane hydra and you use it, it's not gonna give you a stack, because it doesn't come from her, it comes from the stupid item. It's ugly af. So, if you use this, it doesn't work. Exactly what a disgusting said. Are you guys not paying attention? Disgusting, filthy, gluttonous bastard. Where's the item I have? And the second part of her passive is the auto attack. Not the auto attack, but the melee... The melee damage parts of her jank. So she gets magic damage when she's close. And this does more damage based on their missing health. So this is good for last hitting minions, last hitting enemies. Do you see this? Do you see this little tingling of damage? Big. 
adds up. Adds up. So you guys have to use, be using this. Please be using this. Of course, if you're going in melee range and you're gonna die, don't be using it, but... Things like our E um, automatically proc this. Same with our W, because it's like in the melee range. Don't even hold me. Okay, yeah, the ult, I lied. The ult doesn't do it. But like, it's fine though. Who cares? It's only like two damage. But it's big. Adds up. Especially in the early game. So just remember that. Also, it looks cool and it feels nice when you do it. You see that little ch ching Disgusting knock-up effect. This is big too. I can't show you in the practice tool, but I'll have a clip. This is good because you can be really you could be really far back. And then let's say Nautilus is over here and hits someone, you could have the craziest follow-up while being safe. Because they can't shoot you here. But if you were here, you'd get killed. Like you'd get shot, right? So if you're back here, the little line shows up. I'll have a demonstration in a sec. But the not here, he stuns him, you go. So if enemy gets stunned, knock up, or anything like that, you have a little dash. It could go through walls too, remember that. So it's pretty good. It puts you right in E-range. Auto and E-range, so it's kind of nice. And that's basically how a lot of the setup is going to be for her too. Also, if they're knocked up, it's going to extend it for a sec. That's not that deep. That's pretty nice. Okay, now we go to the Q. Q is one of her most important abilities. Because <laughs> look, pew! Pew! You could last hit with it. It's a little farther than attack range. It also applies lifesteal and crits. Please remember this. This is big for her kit. So you keep queuing. You can edge the fight. Get your stacks up. Look, Q auto. Q auto is crazy combination. Because it gives you two stacks and little crazy DPS. For a little trade, boom, you can walk out. That's your trade combo. That's all you can do for trading. This gem sucks. Without all ending with E. So yeah, it's like this. Boom, boom. Like that. Boom, boom. See that? Boom, boom. It's pretty cool. If you auto queue, it doesn't really work as well. But it's fine. So this is good for just doing damage. And if you go melee, it does the sword. ka -ching! And the way how you go melee or not, you see the little middle ding -a -ling? If the middle ding -a -ling ain't aiming at anyone, it's not gonna work. So you have to aim the middle ding -a -ling. You see the middle ding -a -ling? You have to aim at enemy champion for it to work. See? In the Q, the melee Q is big. Trust. Because if you have a lot of lifesteal, you can heal one grillion HP. It's not watch, watch, watch. Look, look at the healing I'm about to do. I'm full. I'm full HP. So if you need to heal quick, try to hit as many things as you can without dying. It'll, it's so disgusting. So that's it for the Q. Now we hit the W. This is wind wall. This thing's OP. It does two instances of damage. This is important. Because instance of damage means that we get a stack. See one stack? But then how do we get the second stack? We'll get to that later. Trust. Uh, blocks anything that Yasuo Wind Wall can block. It's really good. This is uh, by far her most important ability. This is her se <laughs> second most important ability. This nah, this ain't even. This is her most important ability. But okay. Disgusting Blade Whirl. OP. It's on high cooldown though, so you have to remember if you're using it willy nilly in lane, it also uses a lot of mana low key. Don't tell them though. So it's chill. The priority usage for this, this is also part of your combo. So the prior usage for this, you go to save yourself to one shot ahead <laughs> and then to save your teammate. You don't want to be using this to save your dog piss teammates unless you really need to. Because then that means you can't go in nor can you save yourself if you use it for piss teammates. So you want to be using it to disgusting <sighs> either one shot them or disgusting give them ock. Or save yourself. Okay, now we get to the E. This one's really good. I've been experimenting with this one. Level 1? Level 1? You can take this level 1 or take Q level 1. But these are all pretty good. This is definitely... You want to take this for invades. Invades is OP with E level 1. Basically, it's a dash. It's hard point and click dash. That does a brilliant damage. Also does the, the passive damage. And it gives you attack speed after. Look. Ching! Ching, look how fast I'm attacking. That's crazy fast, bro. It's faster than full build Jinx passive. Stuff like towers and stuff. And there's some cool things you could do too. You can... You could even do some fancy trick. Oh my god, I just killed the raptor. It goes over walls, so you can even do some fancy tech like this. Look. You could go over this type of wall. You could do this for the other one too. 
Really, this is situational aff, and you're probably never gonna use this, use it like that. But like, it's the one percent game-changing moments can come from that. Please, please lock in. Also, this is the big part. When you E, you can push Q at the same time, and you get this disgusting Al Qaeda Palestine like Israelite bomb jank on the disgusting. <laughs> you put the disgusting bomb on the ground. It's gonna both do the melee damage and do a lot of damage. Because some people don't do this, they don't know about this, and I don't know how you play the game and not know about stuff like this, because this is literally her whole kit. Anytime you can E, you can also Q. If it's if it's not on cooldown, of course. If the Q is on cooldown, it's not going to work. You can also E during your ult. And that means you can also Q during your ult if you're in the E. So wait, let's stack it up. This is some severe players don't they some people actually don't even know about this and this is also a basic app. You can also EQ during your ult and this is OP because it's like a crazy amount of burst that you can do. And one more thing about the E, it resets on champ kill. This is OP. So you can boom kill this kid. Boom, jump on him. Boom. <laughs> okay. This is OP. You could okay. Now to the disgusting um what we were talking about earlier about the W. You know how it goes twice like that? You can E during your W and the W is going to hit again, giving you another stack. This is three stacks in one movement. One. And now if you Q as well. Look at that. Grillion. Grillion. Grillion stacks. Auto, you're at full stacks. And we're going to get to this soon. We have to talk about the alt real quick. The alt. Applies crit. Hits everything. <laughs> Lifesteal. OP and you can move during it. You do this, you're literally hitting everything for a grillion damage. Big. 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 But you have to have six stacks. It's about to get messy. You can E during this, and then when you- I've already said that, you can also Q during it as well. I have to piss, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Emptied out and everything. Okay. What were we on? Okay, we finished talking about the alt. OP. Big. So now what we're gonna go into, we're gonna go into some of the combinations. Really, your win con as Samira in these fights is- You want to basically one-shot the backline like enemy ADC. I'm gonna drink of water. Enemy ADC. And they just kill all, all their carries, not, not just the enemy ADC. You could basically one shot with like three items, two items even. Basically just one shot heads. And also do disgusting montage plays with your alt. Those are your win cons. And the way how you do that is by edging and stimulating the edge of the fight, like the front line, just dinging him a little bit. Pretend this is a mouth fight. You're gonna disgusting do some Q auto. Q auto, make sure you're safe in range. If someone sets you up, if Nautilus Disgusting ults the Jinx or something, boom, go in. And Disgusting, give them Uck. Okay, my stacks ran out, but like, you know what I mean though. So those are your basically, that's the, that's the kind of way you have to do it. All I can explain it in a different way in a sec. But we're gonna go over the combo. So you have two stacks already? This unlocks you for the, the super secret WEQ Alt combination. So you get the two stacks. Boom. And then you have all. You just kill them. Theoretically, you want to auto after the EQ win wall and then alt. Because the auto is like a grillion damage and then alt is like follow up after that. It's kind of crazy. Remember that your W doesn't give you stacks unless you hit them with it. So you have to be... This is if you're close up. It's, it does some work. But if you're not close up, you're gonna need some stacks beforehand, or just the auto attack. I don't know why my Q is like, triggered in there like that. But you know what I mean? Once you ult, your stacks are gone. So remember that. If you're trying to chase someone and you're- If they're gonna run out of alt range, you could just probably just run at them and don't- You don't need to ult. So two, two stacks? Okay, hold on. Two stacks, wait for Q to come back up. W, E, Q, auto, boom. You kill everyone, disgusting game. So remember that. Big, big. 
And that's, um, if you have three stacks, you don't even need to have the auto in there. So let's say you get an auto queue auto, and you have three stacks. Like this. All dead again. Okay. That's basically your bread and butter of, like, going in. But you're using your wind wall to get stacks. If they can stun you with it, you don't want to do this. You want to bait out their disgusting abilities. Please be human being. Because I can see it. I don't want to see it all the time. And then here's the 0 to 1 Grillian stack combo. If they're in melee range. This is good if, like, an assassin jumps you or something and you need to give them Ock fast. It goes... Auto... W E Q Auto Alt. But everything has to hit. You have to be in melee range. Like if Kha'Zix jumps on you, <sighs> or you're in a bush, you're a bush waiting for someone to come in, this is perfect opportunity for this. Because they'll have no clue what happened. They'll be like, huh? Ooh. Disgusting monkey gibbering around. So let me show you. Auto, W E Q, Auto, boom. It kills all. This is the fastest S combo in the disgusting game. G A M E. I'll do it again. Faster. That wasn't as fast, but my game is lagging. You have to trust me on this. One more time for the kids. Boom. This is the fastest combo. You'll kill anyone. Problem is, they could flash your EQ. That's not good. If they do that, you'll lose. You'll lose. You have to run or figure something out. They could also... If you're really <laughs> if you're really close to them, the E is a fixed distance, right? So your second W is not gonna hit. Look, it hit that time, but like sometimes it won't hit. Trust me, you have to trust me on this. Like you see, it didn't hit that time. I would have got S if it hit. It didn't hit that time, so you have to. If they, it, I don't know how to say it, but like if they run at you, if they run this way, you're cooked. Like, because they're going to go that way, you're just going to miss it. So just be aware of that. So yeah, that's about all the disgusting mechanical advantages. You could also do um, some crazy jank, like, auto from afar. Into the flash W. Like this. This is pretty good, but you're using your flash like a dunce. And you don't really need to use it like that unless you want. So yeah, really just have fun with the champ. Once you get down, once you get the stacks down, it's pretty easy to know what's going on in these fights. You just gotta be the correct positioning and disgusting. Your setup has to be human being. She's not a 1v9 machine unless she's really ahead and she has the right setup because CC can stop her at anything. And it's not good. Build. The main idea for her is basically you wanna be going Doran's Blade almost every game. You could go Longsword Start. If you're into Cancer and you need the Dirk fast, but normally Doron's is like 90% fine. I, I I hate long sword sorry. This is kinda queer to me, so don't I don't really mess with this. But Doron's way to chill. Your win con is Dirk. You need to be backing for this if you get it. This is your win con. I don't want to see you going for pickaxe unless you like need to. Unless it's unlucky, you know what I mean? But Dirk is the money. And what you do with that Dirk, you get a collector. This is Sabira's item. This is literally her gun. And anyone who says this is the disgusting GP gun or whatever, you have to kill yourself. This is disgusting Samira's gun. I'm not going to prove it to you, but it is. Her weapon. And it's good for... It it's literally synergizes with everything that she wants. What Samira wants, she wants AD, crit, and lifesteal. That's all she needs. Those three components and you have a disgusting build. After that, IE is the best bet. In some rare cases where you're extremely ahead and you don't want to give your shutdown... And you're so ahead that you have the damage to just do whatever you want in the game. You can go shield bow. Because this will make you genuinely Thanos. But for most part, IE damage spike is really insane. Because this amplifies your crit damage, which amplifies your Q and your ult damage like crazy. And then after that, you can go boots. Boots is kind of anal rape on this champ. So here are your boot options. You go disgusting plated or mercs. I don't ever want to see you going greaves or else. All of these are kind of cringe. You could go Swifties. Swifties is good in certain matchups. Like, if you're against the Ash, yeah, you can go Swifties. It's fine. But honestly, Plated probably is better, too. Shield Bow is big. This gives you the Lifesteal, Crit, and AD. And this shield is... You can see... I'm pointing at it. Can you see? 
The shield is money. Big. Boom. Get this. Saw the disgusting pot. Also for these disgusting um, parts. If they have people building armor, Lord Dominic is really good. But normally, you lifesteal. Like, you out lifesteal them. So you don't really need Lord Dominic. Unless it's really cancer. But normally you should be healing them unless you're really at, unless you're really behind or something like that. You can maybe pick this up and you'll do some crazy damage. Bloodthirster's big. I think shield bow's better, but don't be a pussy. Always buy Bloodthirster. Don't be a pussy. This is OP lifesteal, montage, everything. And for your last items, GA is really good. Because if you screw up, you legit have a Thanos like comeback moment, one shot everyone. Lord Dominic's really good. I've even experimented with Jack Show Dark Technology. This is really good too, but building it is so cancer. It's so expensive, man. Same thing as GA, but like, I swear it's not. I swear to God, I'm buying this and I'm getting tax tax fraud. So watch out. There's even a freak. There's a freak who'll be building static ship on Samira. I don't know. He might need to die. But then we also have uh, full lethality build. Doesn't really work unless. Lethality items are like extremely busted. They're not busted anymore, so just go crit. Trust. It's better. And yeah, so this is full example build. And who knows, maybe you want disgusting more lifesteal. F it. <laughs> F it. Go cynical mode. <laughs> this disgusting graphitis or something, bro. Let's see it. You have active too, man. Okay, we're disgusting back. And I'm gonna give you guys the disgusting laning apparatus. Oh, let me move the mic real quick. Main things, I'm going to tell you straight up. We got a Maokai, Samira. You can't see the Maokai, but he's here. We have Maokai, Samira, and Takog, Lulu. Let me minimize this. I don't know how to full... Oh, I can full screen it. Okay. It's not going to look as pretty. Sorry about that. Yourself. Okay. So, yo, a taste of West Africa. Mashallah. Ideally, we're going to talk about this. Ideally, you never want to leash on this champ. Trust. This is one of my buddies. That is why I'm leashing them. But you should never. And I never, I barely leash in ranked games unless they're going to AFK and feed me. If they get like really pissed. But normally, the jungle is good enough, they don't even want to leash. I just give him a leash because I'm being a nice guy to my friend. So, I'll give him a leash, get back to lane. Because the one of the most important things is priority in your lane. So that you can get level 2 first, you get your, all your disgusting spikes first, you can do anything first. And we're into Kong Lulu, so we need to get that prio insta, or we will lose! I miss every minion. CS does not matter on this champ. That's a lie, but it's okay though. Let me explain. So right now we're just peacefully farming, trying to conserve our HP, not trying to get poked by anyone. As you can see, level 2 first is big. We have level 2 first, that means we can free farm. Free farm, do whatever we want first. We're just waiting patiently. You need to wait for your supports to engage first. They have the ball in their court until you get fed enough to do whatever you want. So we're waiting. My support is kind of taking his time. It's fine. We do a we do a super wave crash cheater recall technology. This is advanced trick. I don't expect most of you guys to know, but it's fine. We do it perfectly. I execute. We get a long sword. I'm not gonna explain this because this is not disgusting cheater recall video, but it's okay. The long sword's big here. We come back and it's just patiently farming till we get our disgusting. Uh, till my uh. What is it? Tell my support engages for us. You have to be patient for these. If you just go in, they're just gonna walk backwards. So you have to let you have to let them like give them the room for you to do stuff. Especially right now, we don't want to fight right now. Cause they have more minion wave. But Cog just uses W. And my disgusting guy <laughs> Nah, my support sucks. What is this? Okay, this isn't that deep though. We still have wave, it's chill. Your support can die, it's fine. As long as you don't die, it's kinda chill. He's just gonna come back and then we just kill him, I think. I'm 90% sure. I didn't really watch this yet. This is me though. Yeah, you see, he just goes in and we just give him Ock. Like, he doesn't live here. I think. Surely. Surely we win, right? Yeah. Kong. Like, Kogma's not beating Kong once he's running out of disgusting. This. <laughs> this is okay for us. Because we, we get our Dirk. We get our Dirk here, right? You can see the Dirk. Yeah, you can see it. Off obviously. Um, my support kind of trolled a little bit. Don't tell them, though. It's fine. So we're going to push the wave in. Chill. Baba. They're pushing now. This is important. 
Because when they're pushing, that means the ball is in your court, but at the same time theirs. Like, they can easily get the rebound. So you have to, you have to be careful. But in the court, I mean, my support, they... We could basically hold them hostage under tower if we want to. Which is good for us, because then we could kill them and get the jungler to come to help too. But look, he's going to go in here. He's going to go in any second now. Yeah, he just goes in. Now the support engages, it's just free kills. Boom, boom. And we even have the jungler here. It's simple as. Simple as. Oh, wait, yo. And then look. Even over here... I'm playing up. I'm like acting like I'm going to do something. But then he gets greedy for it. He gets greedy for it. We have bigger wave. Why is he doing this? I don't know why my support flash for it. I guess it's chill. He wants to be a part of the action. It's fine. I think he dies. <laughs> Yo, if he died, how pissed would I have been? <laughs> okay, the same thing. Really, bot lane is... It's the same thing as top lane. You take turns, you know? Right now, ball is in their court, but it's also in our court because then we want to be in this position where the wave is pushing so that we can awk them. So it's very simple as here. You see, you know, Maokai's just getting ready for it. Yup, it's free kill. Rest in peace to all the soldiers. You see? What do they do here? I even have six. I even have six. It's gold mode. Look, he took the kill. He's rat bastard, but it's fine. We'll let... <laughs> She wants to play the game. I live too. It's so... White woman save me. And then it's, once you're once you're fed, look, I'm 4-1. Once I'm 4-1, I don't know why I have a... I don't know why I have a vampire acceptor. I don't know what I was doing in this game. But it's fine. Once you're fed, it's basically just sandbox. Just literally take any, any opportunity you can to kill them. With, you see, we saw the jungler top lane. So there's really, in the mid laners in mid lane, like, there's really nothing we could just die from here, 2v2. They generally, they cannot outplay it, there's no genuine way. Like, I get polymorph, I get full polymorph, knock up, and they still lose. I was about to say. <laughs> they still lose though, so. Like, it's really hard to die once you're ahead on this champ, and your support is competent, it could just go at the people that they need to go at. So that we just keep it up. A bit of an overstay. Don't really care. It's fine. Going back. No, look. The support's half HP. Like, this is... You should be horny as Samira if you're seeing this. Like, my tip is up. And I'm rewatching it. Oh, we just died here. There's no way. Yeah, we literally just... <laughs> okay, a little rough on the dive. But, like, yeah. Literally, it's, like, kind of free low. What's, what's happening now? So we're just clearing waves. It's important to keep up with wave clear. Keep it up your prio. If you have keep prio, look, I'm just going to push the wave insta. Boom. EQ. EQ the wave. The whole wave is gone. You want to keep prio so you can get to the fights first. If you're at the fights first, that means they are dead first. Do you feel me? You're so, you guys need to be picking this stuff up. Write it down, man. So yeah, we're risking for it a bit. At this point, we're in utter sandbox. Look, my, my support's literally just going. Like, we have jungle too. Don't... Do not be afraid once when you're ahead to fight the 3v2s, 4v2s, 5v2s, 5v1s. Just don't be afraid. You need to limit as You need to understand what your champ can do. My support... I'm most likely dead here, I think. Yeah, okay. Do I even try this? But theoretically... If we were just a second, we could have won that. If we just went on the, went on one of them and just one shot of them quick. And then now, the ball is in their court. I clearly can't 2v1 against Lulu without no cleanse. So it's fine. We piss chill for a sec. Get to, get the CS, get chill. But I will show some clips in the... I will show some clips where you could blatantly just diff people. This is a Galio? I thought this was Curb! Yeah. Is Curb not your support? Oh, but I'm the GOAT! Oh. Like, this is what Severa does. Her ult, her Q, all of his AoE. Just don't be afraid of the 2v3s. Just make sure you're playing it pro appropriately into the enemy's abilities. And with your support setup. Look at this guy. He's literally just getting, he's just getting gapped. <laughs> he's literally just getting gapped. Okay. He's my GOAT, though. Don't flame him. Now we're just waiting for the next opportunity that arises. You have to be patient. You cannot always just perma 1v, just go in. If I go in here, I just lose. Like, they just zone me and die. He ults. It's not going to do anything because... Oh, wow. Okay, yo. 
This blue is Gap City, no? Oh, look, I'm a rabbit now. Does he die here? There's no way. Okay, bless. So yeah, you just gotta wait till the support or some some CC gives you gives you an opportunity to go in or they overstep, they underestimate you. You can do it. You can literally just you erase people off the game. I'm right now trying to push the wave so I can go back get my uh, get my disgusting shield bow. I think I went shield bow because I was discussing so gap city ahead. I stay. I don't know what happens. Yeah, yeah. We're definitely trying to look the bag though. It's fine. Yeah, I get my shield bow. Uh, normally I should have went IE this game because I already lost my shutdown, so it's not really that deep. But that's fine. <clears throat> Cal will be a little dirty to them. Look at this. Okay. No clue if we win this, but we can fight it though. He's level 12. I'm level 12. We can do it. Wait, is he level 12? He's getting gapped. Yeah, he is getting gapped. Okay, look. He finds the cog here. It's simple as. It's simple as if the support sets it up perfectly. Look, he doesn't even have his Lulu with him. Cog with no Lulu is... It's Yin without Yang, bro. Unimaginable. Yeah, bro. He used Flash too. Like, he's gimped. Look at him. He's trying to clear the wave like he knows. It's gapped. Okay. We probably die here. The Yas is fed off. Yeah. Lulu's a really big counter to your champ, by the way. We're going to get into the matchups later. I think we... Uh, I think we still win, though. Yeah, don't be afraid. You could, you could do some crazy things on this champ. I mean, nothing really was crazy here. He kind of... The Yas kind of misplayed. Like a bugger. Especially if you have exhaust, too. If you have exhaust, don't be scared of these things. Loki, if I if I use my cleanse better, like I just cleanse the I just cleanse the ignite because I thought I was gonna do anything, but it didn't. I could have probably killed the Lilia too, because then I could have just cle cleansed the sleep and just ucked her with six. But it's fine. Look, once again the support comes. Like she's killed. She's gapped. You're not living this. There's no way yeah, there's no way she's living that ever. Play with your team a lot. You need to play with your team. I know the 1v9 montage is cool, but you playing with your team is pretty... Because they set you up. Look, my whole team is CC. Like, it's just so free. Look, a fight's about to happen here. Look, my jungler goes in. I'm, I'm following up as fast as I discussing can. Gragas is in. It's gapped. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, but it's still gapped, though. Going to drag plays. I don't know what killed me here. I'm not... <laughs> Let's see what did. Oh yeah, I probably got slept. I didn't even get slept. Okay, I just got shibuya Shibuya incident. It's fine though. Mid to late game, what you want to do after you? You just permaclear waves. Permaclear waves and stick by your team. If your team wants to go ward, you go ward. If you're calling the shots and they're listening to you, beautiful. You can do whatever you want. Clear the waves, go play for the objectives, fight the team fights that are smart. Don't discuss things. Don't just like bug around doing your own little solo missions. When you could be there. If I was there instead of piss bot lane, imagine, bro. It's Gap City. I mean, we still gapped them, though, but it takes a sec for me to get there, right? Wow, okay. I mean, it's still Gap City, but it's fine. If I was there earlier, it's free double for me. I would have had Bloodthirster, too. You have to be thinking about these guys. Just clear the waves, bottom, and go. Don't try to stick side lane trying to get plates, bro. You're not getting plates. You're not getting side turrets. Your champ does nothing to those. I know you can either turret get the 2% two, 2 move speed or whatever. Attack speed was not going to do it. That's the disgusting game winning fight coming up. I think I, yeah, I croak here. I don't really know why. I know why, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Actually, I will. I think if I... <laughs> Instead of going for the disgusting... Uh, if I should have just kept... Nah! I'm, I'm trolling! If I eat these guys, it was so cooked. Okay, whatever. We still win this game. I, we better have won this game. Look, okay. Support goes in again. He hits them with the ult. I don't know. This Lulu is addicted to getting hit with Maokai ults. Boom, she just gets finessed. Uh, yeah, this guy also gets finesse too. Yeah, cut. like you literally are just one v one anyone if if once you're a little bit ahead, and that's just late game Samir anyways. Life steal. Bloodthirster, ladies and gentlemen. If you get 
you play with your team, you play the lane phase right, you do not lose. And if your team picks good champs, you 90% don't lose and if you don't troll. That was a... That was a 2v5 until Yon showed up. Eh. Okay, that was a 3v5. Mathematically, we lose. Mathematically. In your head, you guys are like the little disgusting league nerd, disgusting silver 2 nerd. Mathematical. Oh, he's losing these. This is 3... <laughs> Sorry, he's three v disgusting five. He's gonna he's gonna lose. No, you don't lose. You have to play like Gap City, bro. Boom. See dog, play around. Boom. I'm the disgusting goat for that E. By the way, y'all y'all don't know. It's it's too easy, Gap City. And then we go Baron team fight. Next fight is his game. Game is G's. I'm really taking my pants off in the vod. Like you can't even. I'm not going to show you guys, but I legit have to take my pants off. It's getting too heated. Like, look at this. You play with the team, they literally just set you up. They alley-oop. They literally alley-oop. You have to play like it's alley-oop. Look, I'm already at four stacks. I'm already at disgusting. Brother. The game is simple as. Okay. 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 <laughs> We're going to start here. We're going to start here. Notice we didn't leash this time. My Zin is my Zin is addicted to starting topside. What's his soul? We immediately start hitting the wave. We want to get two ASAP. Oh my god, we skipped so far up. I have E first. We tried to invade. That's how I got a kill. But it's fine. Don't worry about the kill. E invade is OP, especially if you're someone like a height, a hook champ. E level one. Cause look, he's gonna he's gonna just ult this kid. He's just gonna get a Q. Alley oops. The support alley oops you the kill. What does he do here? Look, he flashes. We have E. We catch him. Even though I E like a dunce, but it's fine. We still caught him. And then let's see. I already talked about this. I'm gonna cut it out though. Next double kill. Let's see how let's see how this works. Okay. They're pushing into us. This is where we want them to be. In a hook matchup. They can't do nothing about this. It's our ball. The bo It's in our ball here. They have to poke us out, but they literally are in danger. So right now, we're just waiting patiently. Last hitting the minions. You want to keep the wave on this side of the map as fast as, as long as possible. Or else. This is the golden zone. You want to be here perma. So I'm just last hitting as... I don't know. I could have waited on that one. It's fine. Now we're waiting for the pike to just go in. It's his ball. It's literally his... The ADC enables the support to cook. And the, and the support enables you to cook. It's literally an infinite feedback loop. We have a jungler here? Oh, life is good. My pike just ran it. I don't know how he got croaked so fast. Four shot or what? I could have exhausted the genus one. Boom. The team makes the game easy for you in the lane phase. Let's go to the next part. I die here. This was so raunch. I remember this. I don't... <laughs> I'm so trolling the actual games. I have two pickaxes. I was so pissed I didn't get enough money for collector. I just bought a second pickaxe. I was like... Arr! Okay. This is what I want to demonstrate. When you're ahead... And you can easily outplay them. I have Exhaust. I have Flash. I have Windwall. It's against the Jin and Velkaz. I could Windwall literally 90% of their kits. You could try for these crazy, crazy plays. Look at how this happens. I'm literally just... I'm just edging him. I'm just jelking him around. He doesn't know how to play against me. He's bugging. He thinks he's shooting me. He's going to help him. It's not, buddy. I'm just getting some stacks. Velkaz comes. He thinks he's the GOAT. I didn't need to Flash that. It's fine. Boom. Belkaz is level 4. Brother, I'm 16 levels up on him. He's level 4. Kill him. He's dead. I give him gaps. I give the gin. Oh, I have to rewind because it's, it's disgusting looks. I don't know why my video replay is doing that. Kappa AIDS. Boom. He's dead. I don't know why I exhausted him. It's fine. Don't, don't believe me. This was raunchy. I tried to EQ, but I was out of range. So it just queued the minions. This is when I almost... Oh, I almost ucked my head with a shotgun. Look, I Q it. 
if I were to EQ, the idea is EQ, he just dies. EQ auto dies E out on the minions. Because the E resets. We have to watch it one more time. I'm going to cut it out, but it'll be fun. EQ would be auto. I'm out. <laughs> now, you can't just do this, like, game one of... Game one of... <laughs> and I get killed by this pedophile. But it's fun. You can't just do this game one on Samira. Like, yeah, I mean, obviously you got to know your limits. But, like, you will learn once you do it a bunch and into a bunch a little bit. It's not that deep. Don't be afraid of challenging these. I'll put another one. Was blatantly just 3v1. Blatantly, bro. You don't be afraid to challenge these, bro. You... The, when the ball is in your court, don't be scared to shoot it, bro. Or else you're not going to make no points. Let's see. Maybe there's one more you can find. Okay, there's Blightons. This, I think, was fecal injection. I think I just died here. No, my pike's the goat. Okay. When you have a good support that's like plays a CC champ and gauge type jank, it's so simple as. Look here, I'm just I'm just pushing mid, playing with my team. Karma's here, boom. It's like, what do they do? What do they do, bro? The Velkos don't even go all yet. We're discussing 20 minutes in the game and Velkos don't even go all yet. Like, what does he do? So key points, play for level two, don't leash, Dirk is your best friend. Play off your supports and gauge, or if they really badly overstep or something. Play with jungle, play the waves correctly, play back and forth. Back and forth. It's how it goes, you gotta take turns in the discussing lane phase. Boom. Simple as. And then mid game, late game, clear disgusting. Clear the waves, keep up with farm, but stick with your team during the big fights like objectives and stuff. And just run around the map getting towers. And it'll be simple as. Oh, what, what, what the fuck is this?